Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. Uh, this one is going to be on the newest Hall of Famer, Andre the Giant. This is one a lot of people have been looking forward to and waiting for, uh, myself included. So <clears throat> I'm very interested to see how he is, how he plays, and all of that stuff. Um, as always, I do not get to keep this Andre. Um, when the preview's over, he'll get removed from my account. I'll have to get him just like you guys. So... Andre the Giant Hall of Fame. Let's take a look at him. He has the Hall of Fame link. Any color move, start with four more move points. He has the one gear. His coaching ability at 9k. Yellow moves deal 10% more damage, and yellow moves that destroy gems will destroy one more gem. Very nice coach ability for someone that has a yellow destroy move. So, um, very solid coach, uh, but situational. So let's take a look at the uh, first moves that we're going to run. We're going to go against uh, AJ on the road. He's strapped. And um, the first move set we're going to run is going to be available at 3-star. We're going to use the Scoop Slam. It's a 13 MP finisher, deal 27k damage, and destroy 26 random gems and pin the opponent. That's a lot of gems. Uh, Power Slam. 9 MP black move. Uh, deal 41k damage, 42k damage, and choose two gems to make into red gems. And the giant elbow drop, 8 MP black move, deal 45k damage, and increase your red gem damage by 143% for three turns. Trainers were using Bray to get started faster with four more MP. Uh, Big John Stud to create four more reds, so we're choosing six. Um, Typhoon here to buff the red gem damage, and then Lacey. Uh, to buff purple and green gems by 20% when the finisher goes off. Let's get in here and take a look. Uh, no straps on my Andre. AJ is strapped. Um, I do have maxed uh, tour perks. I maxed them for the Royal Rumble event going on so I could uh, farm the matches faster. So I do have max MP perks, so let's take a look at the bonuses I got going on. Um... That's going to be do, do, do. all color moves start with three more move points and matching adds two more MP to those. AJ, like I said, is strapped. Um, he's going to be reducing gem damage by 50%. So really because of the plus three, I'm starting with, uh, starting with eight MP. So I don't need a match to get going on, um, the next turn with the choose. Uh, so you can just use the black. And then there's a couple ways you can go about it. Uh, probably not going to finish them So with the first move set. So you can either try and recycle in case you need to recycle or take the red for the gem damage, which is pretty good. Almost 60k on a three match. And then here, um, I'm going to go for the most damage I can. Like that. So pretty big choose move, 375k. A lot bigger than we're used to seeing on choose moves with it being buffed. And that was against a strapped opponent with no strap. So um, with the... Uh, Strapped and Fury set, that cheese move is going to hit very, very hard. Buff the rem red gem damage again, and they're quite big now. They're 30k, so if we catch a couple red gems destroying 26, the damage is going to be pretty big. Got, looks like, two of them. And a very nice cascade. So that'll do it. So it's a pretty solid move set, very strong choose move. It is um, a little bit slower than we're used to to load, and then a pretty big boom. Uh, this would be a solid move set in in tag matches for him. And that one's available at three star. So let's check his four star move set out. This is a pretty solid move set too. Um, it's a little bit control. The first one was completely aggressive. This one's a little control. 
um, can do some good damage. Um, we're going to bring in um, all different moves. So we're swapping all three out. So we're, <clears throat> we're going to be using the double underhook suplex, deal 35k damage and gain 8 red MP. The bear hug, submission, um, 10 MP, generate 8 random sub gems and do 11k damage for 5 turns. Uh, the remaining gems turn into X-Break gems. And then the Jawbreaker, choose four X-Break gems to destroy. Uh, Entourage, I'm going to run with Steel to get started turn one. Um, and I do not have um, Zombie Seth to add more destroys to the green move. I'm not sure I would use him anyway, because a lot of times you're probably not going to have a lot more than four X-Breaks to target. So... I think I would probably go Slick Rick for gem damage anyway. Um, this move set can be a little bit board dependent on where the X break uh, gems get placed. So Slick Rick adds 20% more gem damage. And then we're keeping the previous two trainers. So all of our gems are nice and buffed so that we'll hit pretty hard. Yeah, I think I would use Slick anyway because I don't uh, think I'm not seeing a lot of times where I have many X breaks left after breaking four, and a lot of times they line up so one will break another one anyway. Um, and like I said, this is a little bit dependent on how many sub gems are left and things like that because they do go out randomly, so you don't get a lot of control over that. Green move is going to start ready turn one, then we're going to hit the sub, then we're going to break some X breaks. So we only have four left right or five left right now, um, but we're gonna get to choose to break them. They're all kind of kind of clustered in here. That will get all of them. Pretty decent damage, 300k even with against the strapped opponent. So and we drained his MP. So this is a very viable move set. This one is available at four star. Um, and you're just going to repeat that. Again, it is a little bit board dependent um, as far as the sub gems being left and, and how destroying them goes. But it's pretty solid. Uh, this is definitely the best Andre card of the uh, three we now have, in my opinion. So... I mean, I would like to have this card for um, Andre requirements, for sure. Again, we wouldn't have needed more than four on the destroy anyway. Not nearly as much damage this time around, so you can see there's a little bit of luck to it. Uh, or board dependency, so he will get one move off this time. But do keep in mind he is strapped as well. Again, this moveset definitely be a um, <clears throat> candidate for Fury because you're blown up so much of the board. Pretty easy win against a strapped opponent. Um, we'll finish him when we choose our X breaks to destroy. Not as fast as I would like, but also not a bad uh, build set at all. Generally, recycling and practicing wasn't too bad because uh, you're hitting a lot of the board with the X break. Again, wouldn't have needed more than the four destroys that time either. And that looked like it would have done about 200k, so 
that gives you an idea. You know, probably 200 to 250k um, with the move, the big move. But then you're also getting the move damage um, each turn or each cycle through, I guess. So it's okay. Um, five star move set is going to be a slight variation of this. Um, we're going to bring in the five star move though. So, five star move is the two handed choke slam. Deal 60k damage and choose a 3x3 three three area to make into blast gems. Trainers, I'm going to leave exactly the same. And uh, the idea here is to hopefully blow up a bunch of the board. Again, going to be a slight amount of random to it because of the submission, but you do get to choose where those blast gems go. Oh, and I like to actually run Ray, and I think I left Lacey on. I did, which is okay because you're blown up a lot of the board. You could use Lacey or you could use Ray. Ray adds a little bit more damage to the nine blast gems you're doing, uh, 25%. So same kind of situation as the last time, but instead of the choose um, to destroy X breaks, we're going to be able to choose where we put our blast gems and uh, hopefully can put them close to the X breaks and make some nice connections. We only have two left on the board, though. Uh, greens and purples are a nice bonus for us because of Lacey, but... Um, also want to try and break the cross break gem if we can as well. And take advantage of our blast gems. Um, so we'll get some green and red here. So this looks like a good spot. Nice cascade. And you can see some pretty big damage on that one. That's against a strapped opponent. This is definitely my favorite move set for him. Um, and you could probably make an argument of Ray versus um, Lacey anyway, so I'm not unhappy um, that I didn't switch him. It's just I usually like trying to give a little variety on the trainers. But you could be using Ray as well. The blast gems hit a little bit harder. It really depends how many greens and purples you end up blowing up. So this one um, is pretty nice. Because we have this row break here. So we can hit those two and catch this one. Um, so this should be really nice damage here. Not that we're going to need it. So again, it can be slightly board dependent, but this is the best... Uh, more consistent damage, in my opinion. You might be asking why I haven't used the finisher with the Blast Gem. And that's because when you use a Destroy move, it targets all of the non-special gems first. So even though it's destroying 26 gems, uh, there's a total of 49 on the board. So it's never going to hit those Blast Gems. So maybe that's something that will get changed or looked into. But as of right now, the finisher will never hit those blast gems unless you get a, a lucky cascade into them. Um, so that could potentially change uh, how I feel about his best moveset if that were changed. Um, but that one there is the moveset I like the most that I just ran. Also, I'm going to run one more a defensive build set because this, um, this moveset does lend itself to being able to use Honky Tonk Man if you wanted to. So with this moveset, you would want to strap yourself up uh, double armor. And I'm going to bring back the finisher. And then change out Slick Rick for Honky Tonk Man.
So with Honky Talk Man and uh, Double Gem Defense, you're talking 70% gem reduction. Which is significant. And I can't show that right here. But then you can also um, pick two of your opponent's better colors if you have the gem defense coaches. Like uh, Robocena. For reds and Asuka for blacks. And I'm going to go against Vader, who's not strapped. Um, just for the purposes of this defensive one. Really, the idea of the finisher is not to hit the X breaks, because we won't unless we cascade into them. Because again, special gems, the finisher is going to break everything else first. Uh, it's just the idea is the finisher hopefully will hit hard enough to keep him from kicking out. You can see um, his red gems are down to 3k and the blacks to 2k. Imagine what those would be like, though, um, fully strapped up. Because you also have the, if you have a tier 4 armor metal. And Vader has a sub reduction um, too, so it's only a two turn stub, sub instead of a five. The good thing, even if you don't destroy them, it helps make it a little bit easier to recycle if you don't keep them down, because there are those uh, X breaks on the board. And if you get a cascade like that, um, Vader very unlikely will have any chance at all of kicking out. Like so. So anyway, guys, uh, Hall of Fame Andre's in the game. I was kind of figuring he would be like a, a top five, uh, top five card in the game. Uh, doesn't, like, as far as powerhouses go, I don't think he hits that, quite that tier. He's still really good, really solid. Um, the five-star moveset is going to control the board, you get started early, and be really, really good. I think the one I just showed you has some potential with uh, double gem defense. And if they ever change the way those destroy moves work so they didn't target um, non-specialty gems first, you could really have a, a really good setup um, with the green, red, red, with the take out the sub at that point and use the finisher. And I think you, it would be a very, very good move set. Anyway, guys... I hope you enjoyed this uh, preview video. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, I love hearing what you guys think. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Um, I do have a giveaway going right now as well. Um, that will be closed tomorrow, and I'll be doing a stream to give it away. You don't need to be present to win. You can still enter. So go check that video out and get yourself entered. Other than that, guys, have a great weekend, and good luck in feud. Thanks for watching.